good times with good readings. Bye-bye, 2020. Hopefully a better 2021. Thank you. You want trees? I got it. You want a structure? I got it. Good night and sleep tight. New year coming up on you. 2021? You guys are wonderful. One of the greatest boys of all time. The most serendipitous. their premium fresh bun with ketchup and mayo a slice of american cheese on a half pound well done charbroiled black angus beef patty red onions tomatoes lettuce and some mayo and bread and butter pickles and there you have it the bun is the burger is huge taste the the ketchup and the mayo the ketchup and tomato bring the juiciness the um, mayo has a particular taste. The red onion is, has a certain crunch and a different kind of spice than the other onion does. Not a spice, but just a different, almost spice. Uh, the bread and butter pickles brings a sweetness and a crunch. And the patty has that charbroiled taste and it's huge. This is their best. I love a famous star and their, their Western bacon cheeseburger, but I think this is their best, their highest end burger. It's a lot of meat, it's very hearty, and the produce is good. The red onions are really good. The bread and butter pickles have a good taste to it. It's sweeter than dill, which didn't sound right, but it works. There's a charbroiled taste of all Trust Junior Burgers. Okay. Mm. I think this is one of their three top-notch burgers for for what it is. With their star famous the variation of their famous star, their Western bacon cheeseburger, and their thick burgers, what they used to call six dollar burgers. It's very hearty and the produce it's a, a higher end for them with their produce on their buns. Four to four stars. And they like getting their fried zucchini. You know, regular fries, you get their like famous star. I got the waffle fries with their uh, Mr. Bacon cheeseburger and also uh, Chris Cut, uh, which they call Chris Cut fries. They might have to have For their, their uh, $6 burgers, I get their fried zucchini. It's a nice little switch up. That's good. The nice fried cake on the outside. It's a little. Just a little change of pace. House dressing in there. Papa be so hungry. This is really good. Just something a little different. Um, I like these a lot. I get these if I get like a six dollar burger there. I give it three and a half out of four. It's a good side. But I like it better. Probably their best side. But if I would get like a regular burger, I'd still prefer getting fries with it. But I think this is their best side. But, like I said, I think the star there is not the size of Carl's Jr. Their star is their burgers. I think amongst mega chains, I think there might be one other with better burgers pound for pound. Now, as far as mega chains, there's individual burgers I would pick over this, for example. But as far as comparing each Mega Burger Chain's lineup of burgers, I would probably, except for maybe one other, I'd take Carl's Jr. They're hearty, put them. I keep forgetting to thank um, Dollar or Less Food. He is a great, terrific guy. And I'm, I keep forgetting, I might show in a future video. I won a prize on this channel, he sent me a spittoon, it's awesome. I really appreciate it. And he sent me you know, a nice letter with it, you know. It was awesome. I appreciate it. We're in a parking lot next to a big structure. Well, what are you going to do? Andrew Pinion here. Where did you go, Carl? Chicken? Chicken's good. I like chicken. 
Charles Bronson as Paul Kersey, Death Wish 3. Okay, you have the, with the, their fresh baked bun with guacamole and little bacon bits here. Like some tomato, diced tomato and red onion. Some bacon slices in the guacamole. Looks like, I think, I want to say Swiss cheese or pepper jack, I'm not exactly sure. Gonna eat and try not to spill it completely all over myself. We need addition of Swiss cheese as well, but generally the same thing with bacon, avocado, and, and Swiss cheese. Drivers drive by staring at me. But, uh, here we go. Pepper jack cheese, I think. I think that's what it is, really good. This one has red onion in bits, white onion on the bottom. And there's bacon, Swiss, and avocado, or guacamole rather. So it is a different burger. It was under the line of their thick burgers, and it's close enough that I'm just calling it a showcase and extension. But it is somewhat different, so it's a borderline. I can review it as a different burger. But if the quarter, they put out, McDonald's put out a quarter powder where you can put bacon and guacamole and Swiss to a quarter powder, it'd still be a quarter powder. So, though I think you could review, I could review it as a different burger, I'm choosing to, to review it as a showcase and have the, my original Thick Burger review stand for all of them. Very hearty. And you get the hearty, the bacon is delicious. Really beefy ordeal. Yeah, you don't need a side for this. This is a whole meal right here. I'm kind of speechless. Here come the police for a botched order. Delicious. It's an amalgam of flavors. Very hearty. I would prefer. I think, given the choice, I prefer with their thick burgers, a one patty versus a two patty. It's a really, really good addition. I'm gonna take it and leave it. I might, I might just about, yeah, you take out, you take out one of those patties. I might just marry that right now for what it is.